right now, I'm leaving my awesome residence, which is that place right there across the street. That's Andrea. It's called Wheel Blanche, and I live on like that building right there, the fifth floor, second like top. <laughs> yes. Really? I'm a really bad procrastinator. As you can tell, it's a beautiful day in Grenoble, but you can appreciate it. We can see mountains everywhere here. There's some in the back, kind of hard to see from here. This is our bus stop. <laughs> now we're waiting for the bus, and this is much interesting as it's gonna get right here. Yeah, they chose so, the worst time to start yeah. filming that thing. Um, things will get exciting you can real quick. Going shopping. <laughs> We're now walking, there's a tram through the residential center of Grenoble. We're going to this new like living community slash shopping center called Castel de Bon. And it's kind of fancy. Fancy. Right. It's pretty fancy. Yeah, like, pretty they have, so fancy. Yeah, but it's like it's a new residence. Everybody wants to live there. I didn't know there was a I want to live there. Don't hate. Don't hate it's cold as fuck. Every time I hear this, I think I'm Now we're at Andrea's favorite place in the world, H&M, and their fiance <laughs> looking fine as hell. She yeah. should get that outfit, okay. because, I mean... Where are those shorts? <laughs> Seriously, H&M is her favorite place on Earth, like church. No, it's not. Don't oh, lie. we should go to church. Uh, I, we forgot to go last week. I felt so bad. I was like, uh... <laughs> yeah, but we need to go tomorrow. Yeah, no. Okay, tomorrow we'll go to church. The only thing open. Yeah. Okay, so just got out of H&M and it's always better when you get Beyonce in the bag. Beyonce I didn't buy anything, but Beyonce's in the bag. So just letting me carry the bag. Actually really bad. Dude. Where are we going? <laughs> no, where are we going? I mean, it's not dinner time yet and we have to pick up pizza. We should watch a movie. We're not watching a the movie. There's something good at. Why am I filming myself? This feels weird as fuck. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's starting to rain. Good thing Beyonce's got a swimsuit on because she about to get wet. Wow. You like that? Wow. Yeah, I still feel... That's very... Oh. She Violated. thinks I'm hilarious. Oh. Like you just molested my ears. You're welcome. Here my homegirl Andrea, we pride ourselves in being immersed in the French culture. So we're going to Pizza Hut. Because that's how we roll. Judgment. Judgment. It was her idea. Your friend is just sitting there. And I'm like, bringing her water and stuff. And I was like, you know, like, what's, like, oh my God. what do you need? And she was like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to throw up. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> so what do I got to do? And I was like, can you get there? Do you need a trash bag? And she was like, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. So she, like, crawls over. And I was like, flip it out. I was like, dude, what do you need? Like, what do you need? And she was like, she starts yelling, go away. Get out of here. And she knows I hate. Like, I cannot stand the sound of people puking. So I'm like running away, running around in here, like going like, whoa, blah, 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 blah. And like, I would take my hands off and I'd hear like, whoa. And I was like, no. Oh my God. So finally she stops puking and then nothing. And I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean your elbow up because it's kind of bad. And she was like, like I had like four cuts on my leg. It was just like dribbling, not even anything. Because I like, like only stumbled. Yeah. Um, and she was like, dude, your leg is so bad. She was like, my elbow can't even be nearly as bad as yours. Yours is so bad. And I was just like, yeah, dude. And hers was like gushing blood. And I was like, yeah, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. And so, and so we just sat there by the toilet. I made fries. And we sat there and we're just like eating But they didn't eat the fries in the toilet. I could yeah, no, 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 no. I ate the fries in here and, and she was sitting in the door frame. So, oh and like, she was like, then that, oh, it wasn't until then that she was like, I lost my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Real problem settling in. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, how did you lose it? She was like, I don't remember. And I look over and only one of my shoes in there was like, damn it, I lost a shoe. <laughs> and she was like, no. And then like 10 minutes later, I walk in here and my shoe's sitting in there. I was like, how did I even get in there? Like, <laughs> I thought we kicked our shoes off together, but oh, oh. <laughs> it was a tragedy. That's how those shoes ended up like that. That was one of the main tales <laughs> of the white girl. <laughs> <laughs> Were you recording that now? Okay, so that's me at a bus stop waiting for public transportation. I miss my car a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's great.
It's Sunday, so it's the slowest day ever, which means I'm waiting for 10 minutes for this bus. Yay. Okay, right now I'm going all the way up there where you see the construction. Well, it's an old badminton. Exciting stuff. Oh, here's the river, by the way. Okay, so I've started going up, and there's all these... I don't even know what to call them, honestly. That's like part of a fort thing, I guess, they built up here. It's pretty cool. Already winded. Not even halfway there. Okay, I'm about to show you the walk we could do. I actually really should have dressed for this. There it is. All those stairs. And then there's another one. Pretty sure. Alright. Let's do this. You can start seeing some of the city from up here. The view's a lot greater way up there, but not there yet. About a third of the way, maybe. Yeah. Here's staircase number two. It's actually a lot longer. Yay. Now we are three, two thirds of the way up. Here's the view. Amazing. Almost to the top now. This altitude's pretty amazing though. Look at that. I'm waiting for the teleferric to come up right now. Probably can't see it, but it's coming down from like right there. And soon it'll be right up here and you can see it. This view is just breathtaking. Talk about being lucky. Can't think of a better place in Grenoble, honestly. Oh, the is coming down. That's the less economical and less tiring way <laughs> to get up here. It's actually pretty cool being on it. And finally, here's the top. 2360 here. Actually, 180. To put things into perspective, let's see. My internship right there. I live over there. And I'm standing on this mountain right here. Okay, so I've never been this far back into the Bastille before. And big mistake, it's apparently they have zip lining and rock climbing back there. And I missed out on all of that. Although the zip line kind of looks really slow and stupid. It might not be a good one. But still, that would have been awesome. I'm on my way, my way back down now. It's kind of sad being out there. I felt like, you know, it's goodbye. But, I mean, I'll be back up here hopefully next week again. The last time then, but... <sighs> Good thoughts. Going back down the path this time. It's a more relaxed version. Stairs are scary going down. But she gets her old. So right now we're in the center of town, literally. I was kind of hoping she's on would be open because that's where we were going to eat. Open, but so sad. Whatever, you know, we can go to that burger place right there. <laughs> we have no... <laughs> I want cheese now. I really want cheese now. Okay, so this is tough. I, I probably look like I'm just too old showing myself. <laughs> it's not gonna be open after church. It was. Before. We got it before church. Like I don't get it. Well, anyway, she's not like our favorite that. place. So I was hoping I could film it, but I guess not. They get lazy when they're warm outside. That's what happens. Uh, they do this every week. Now. But this place has a really good burger. It's, it's like a Blue Piggy place. The Blue Piggy place. You mean Shea Marius? Shea Marius. Yeah, something like that. Shea Marius. Yeah, they really like to start. Okay, so this is a taco. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is a taco here. <laughs> and that's my friend. <laughs> okay, so we're just leaving church. I went with Caroline and those people back there. We come here every Sunday. And don't judge. Yeah, it is cold. That was our last service, kind of sad. But, hey. So this is the street leading up to the girls' apartment. And I usually get run over here a lot but I just want to show y'all this this is the house that 
used to be the CEA residence where it's haunted. Look at that. technically we would all live. Don't you think it's haunted? Oh god, look how look, how but yeah, there's a hot tub and everything, you can't see it, but <laughs> trust me, there's a hot tub. Yeah, no, it's kind of wouldn't that be hilarious if we lived there all together? Someone would have gotten like, We would have driven uh, each other crazy. I wonder I who would have died first. No, that's I what lived. I said. That's my line, by the way. I wonder who would have got killed first. Okay, take First pride. of all, this is the kind of place horror movies know. take place in. Cubans don't die. Everyone knows Black that. Black people? Well, we run away. Black people die all the time. No, we run away from horror movies. We die from each other. But when it comes to ghosts, yeah, we black people.